Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're gonna be diving back into the world of Gears of War. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we are gonna be picking up where we left off with Gears of War. This is our second episode, and the last time we played, we took on the character of Marcus, and uh, Marcus was in prison. He got rescued by his buddy Dom. I'm assuming there's some history there. We still don't really know. Uh, and uh, they, they, he's been taken out. It's 14 years after something called Emergence Day. Uh, when basically all of these creatures, this giant army, uh, uh, this very well calculated army, I guess, uh, of these monsters and creatures came up from somewhere. I still don't really know where, uh, but came up from the ground and just took over the planet and the war began. And then, uh, you know, humans started blowing these things up with the satellites and all of that. And really, it's kind of a post apocalyptic world now. Um, it, it, at least from uh, where we're at now with Marcus and Dom, it's really hard to see uh, if there's honestly any normal civilian life happening anywhere uh, or if this is just war all over the world. And, and so that's kind of where we picked up. Uh, Marcus was in prison. He was uh, let out by Dom. Uh, because they needed him. They needed Marcus to come back and fight. Um, what we do know is that Marcus was in prison because he was considered a traitor, but I've also got my thoughts on whether or not, you know, he um, basically just, you know, may, might have been framed for something or, you know, really took the fall for something because uh, other people said, well, those trials were bogus or whatever. But um, I just released that video to Patreon yesterday and uh, I'm, it's the next morning and uh, I got up a little early, couldn't sleep. And I thought, well, why don't, I, why don't I get some work done in the studio? So honestly, I haven't really even had a chance to receive any comments or any feedback yet on the first episode, but I really had a good time and I wanted to dive in uh, and, and check it out. Now I noticed that we played the entirety of act one and I looked online because I started thinking, well, if this is like a three act play, <laughs> we're gonna be done with this game in just a couple of episodes. And uh, it was much shorter than I thought. Turns out there are five acts to Gears of War. And that's all I know. I didn't look up any story spoilers. I just looked up a, a listing. Uh, I didn't even read the titles. I just wanted to see, well, how long is this game? And I said it was five acts. So if we keep playing episodes as long as, as it's, if it keeps staying as long as it was, um, you know, we still may get through this relatively quickly, but it sure is enjoyable. I've, I've really enjoyed the game mechanics so far, the, the flow of it, it's very smooth. Um, the graphics are fun. These are big muscle bound soldiers, you know, that really get in there and get the job done. So um, it's, it's really fun to play. And we just fought a berserker that was chasing us all around. And that was kind of like the end of, uh, of the first act you know, um, and, and we had to take him out with the Hammer of Dawn. I'm trying to remember all these names. The Hammer of Dawn, uh, which was really kind of cool. It brought down the satellite weapon uh, with, with whatever you aim it at. So I'm gonna try to keep that weapon on me, unless you change weapons when the ax change. I'm not really sure, but um, we picked up another member of our crew. I can't remember his name, but I thought that he might be in like other Gears of War games. I think I've seen him on the cover. Um, and, and you know, now that I think about it, it might have been Gears of War 3. I'm not really sure. Still haven't looked that up yet. I don't want any spoilers. So, uh, anyway, I'm excited to get into this with you guys. We're going to be starting Act 2. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you guys are excited as well. If you are, do me a favor and click like on this video and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Also, uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. If you're um, one of the new people to the community, because you know, these new games, whenever we do a new series, a part one, usually bring a lot of people over if Gears of War, for example, is a game that you enjoy watching Let's Play videos of on YouTube. 
Uh, so if you're new here and you haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, do me a favor, it would, it would really help the channel if you hit subscribe and check out some of our other content as well. Uh, make sure to hang out with us at Discord, the link for that is down below. And if you'd like to support the workings of Let's Play Easy Mode, as well as get access to all kinds of other content, then make sure to hop on over to the Patreon page, which you can get to by going to this link right here for $5 a month. You can get early release content, meaning all of these videos that you see here on YouTube, YouTube, go to Patreon first, hot off the press. I mean, a lot of times they're still processing on YouTube when they go to Patreon. So if you don't want to wait for these videos and you want to get them sometimes like a week early, uh, then make sure to uh, check that out at Patreon. For $10 a month, you can get that plus exclusive content because we have games that we're playing on Patreon. We're starting to accumulate a, an archive of Patreon only games over there. Uh, so make sure to check that out as well. No matter what you sign up for though, you can be a part of our Wednesday night exclusive Patreon live stream where we just come together, play some games as a community. Uh, and sometimes we'll we'll do another, another game, like a series on Wednesday nights. And then other times we'll just, you know, play Mario Kart against each other. It, it's fun. So make sure to come check that out as well. Speaking of the patrons, special thanks to our current list of patrons. I love you guys and I really appreciate your support and just all that you guys bring to the table there. If you're out there and you would like to join this amazing list of names, as well as get shout outs in all the videos and get access to all of that content I just mentioned, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon today. All right, guys, it's time to dive back into this really war-ridden world, uh, fighting all these monsters from below. Let's go ahead and jump back into the world of Gears of War. Well, okay, guys, we're getting ready to dive back into the world of Gears of War, picking up where we left off here, Act 2, Nightfall, Tick, Tick, Boom, uh, with quick resume on the Xbox. I was able to just dive right back into where we paused the game last time. So let's go ahead and pick things up. We've got our, our crew here. Find a mode of transport. And, uh, okay, here we go. We got Cole, Dom, and Baird. That's who it was. Baird was our guy who uh, was getting a little snarky towards Marcus. I mean, I think Baird is holding some, some things against Marcus. You know, he's kind of like, hey, you know, we don't trust you yet. You're a traitor. And I think he's feeling a little like Marcus doesn't belong as, as the leader. Oh, to give squad orders, hold left bumper, press A for attack, B for ceasefire, and Y to regroup. Well, that's cool. Regroup. Okay. Marcus, this is Anya. Hammer of Dawn is offline. Okay. Perfect. I wonder if that's a, a sign that we don't need to hang on to that weapon anymore. I've been really impressed with the ammo that I've been able to get in this game. Find a mode for you. Outside too. The emulsion factory is 10 clicks ahead, but be advised, you've got enemy units moving to your location. They definitely know where you are. Copy that. Great. Oh, how do you know? Um, right path kind of looks hidden a little bit. Like if going through that alley, and then you go over the bridge on the left. I, I went left last time. Let's go right this time. Dom, you and Gus go left. We'll go right. Got it. I see. And this is probably something that you see really played out in the co-op, I bet. You know, like when one probably split screen or whatever, someone goes left, someone goes right. <laughs> No talking. We're in enemy territory. Hmm. It's very early in the morning for me right now. I got up, I couldn't fall asleep, and uh, I was just like, you know, let me go work on another Gears of War episode. Try to get ahead a little bit. Actually, I thought about this game when I went to bed last night. I really enjoyed it. Hey, Marcus, this route's no good. You better find another way in. But I chose this path. It was the right path. There's 
extra ammo. Respect for the Rodentia. Man, those guys are rough looking. Oh my gosh. Damn, these guys are almost as big as you, Cole. Yeah, almost. <laughs> So we got to work together with the team that went left. That's cool. Maybe maybe this is a chance for Marcus and Baird to have some quality time together. What do you think? Hug it out, guys. Hug it out. Hug it out. Hug it out, Baird. Hug it out. Here we go. All right. Getting a little weird there. Oops, sir. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gonna wait. Save us for later, like a snack. Bullshit. You think I'm kidding? I think you're batshit crazy. That's what I think. Oh, ain't that cute? Like two assholes on their first date. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Baird's got him right there. Can't get a target. He's getting that job done. Oh, he, he went down there. No? Did he? Oh, that's the other guy. mode okay find the transport we got some motor oil for it too if we need some oil for our transport oh there's our car right there <laughs> Ooh. oh my what in the world is Got him. Got him. Oh. There's something I meant. I just walked over. You know, I've been thinking about this. I'm hoping I don't... I'm gonna feel really bad if I don't need that hammer of dawn. Got one. This is very forgiving. Yeah, on casual mode at least. Man, that could have been bad. Having that turret there. Ooh! Scratch one grub. Nice. Regroup. Copy that. Alright, I think we're all coming back together. Maybe. Or not. Sorry, hopefully I'm not making you guys dizzy at all. Ah, oh, there we go. Do I need to use this? 
Is it like as soon as you touch the gun, something's gonna run out? No. Down the ladder, go this way. Oh, here we go. More ammo? We'll take it. Oh, what's that one? A long shot rifle. Got it. Ooh, like a sniper? Maybe. Oh, it only has uh doesn't have much ammo. Oh, okay. No, you know what? We are not going to switch that out. There we go. I'll take that. Yeah, that that looks cool, but um, I'll I'll switch things up with this gun. I'm not gonna keep three ammo for that one. I'm sure that's very helpful, but it keeps replacing my uh, unless I could. Re oh, never mind. One new gun at a time. Let's try that. Nope. This ammo over here. Oh, we don't need it. Okay. We got the whole team together. Whoa. Oh, okay, we got we got some game glitching here. Hopefully that's not gonna be a regular thing. Is that something that carried over from the original Gears of War? Elevator. It's not letting me hit a button or anything to do anything. Still falling. Negative. Is this one of those things I gotta shoot again? Hey, look at that! The art of reloading. Guys, I'm not really sure where to go. Okay. It looks like I should go up there. Can I climb up? This? doesn't seem like climbing is something that's like a strong suit for these guys. But this sure looks like it's where I need to go. Well, how did he get out there? Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, that's not it either. Okay. I'm a little lost here. Um, got a little turned around, maybe. There's a door up there. It looks like I'm supposed to go up there, but I 
wondering if... Now, wait a minute. Wasn't there... I definitely should get be able to get up there, because... Oh. Good to go. So, this door is closed now. And this was open to me before, so I'm I'm thinking that I've, I've maybe maybe have a game glitch or something. Let me know, guys, if this was uh, not supposed to happen. Maybe I'm I'm just missing where I need to go next, but um, it definitely seems like because this was open or, or this. I was able to, this door wasn't here, and I walked in, and there was not really anywhere to go yet. Now it's not letting me in there at all. Well, I, I'm not gonna waste any more time. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to, I've noticed sometimes with, sorry, I'm not completing my sentences here. <laughs> It's morning. I haven't even had coffee yet. Um, I've noticed that sometimes I've had some issues with quick resume on Xbox. We had that issue with some of the Halo games where we would, you know, I would put the Xbox in standby and then come back to do another episode and uh, just do quick resume. And a lot of times the games, uh, specifically older titles uh, like this one, didn't really play as well. But I'm also open to the idea that the reason why I can't find my way in there is because I'm just, I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, here, let me, uh, this may set me back a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, but I'm thinking it might be a good idea to restart. What is that noise? He, ah, ah, that noise. Is someone jumping down? Is that a bad guy? How did they get over there? I don't see an option to like hop the fence. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh, load less checkpoint. Let's do that. Okay, now we're up top. Now they opened up that door. And they went there. Okay. Come on, Beard. Okay. Yep. Oh, goodness. Got him. Gotta do all the work again. I think I just got turned around. Yes, because this is, I was on the other side. Boy, I feel like an idiot. Oh my gosh. I think I just got turned around and lost my way. What are we shooting at? Get 
Okay. Regroup. Copy that. Okay. Can I break those boxes up? So I came in through here. And now we're going this way. Now we're back together. Okay, so I was over there. Now we all, now we're here. And this, yeah, this is where we want to go, right? I don't think we need this ammo, but. Okay. So I don't think there's anything wrong. I just need to figure out how do you get up there. Uh. <laughs> Wait, isn't that where we were though? Yes, we were. That's where we were. We were up top, and then I saw this door open over here. And we're not going there. Okay. So this is where the other guys came from. Got the ammo. Come out this way. Can't go in there. Can't go there. And this is where we were before. Right? <gasps> no! No, 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 no. Um, well, no, yeah, that is where we were. I'm lost, and I really could use um, some sort of uh, thing, you know, like in, uh, when you can hit a button and it shows you uh, your marker where you're going. Wow, I don't know, guys. I might have to uh, look this up, because somehow I got turned around here. I don't know. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Found it. I could use a hand here. We got to get out of here. Now, if you got a plan, let's hear it. I know somebody who lives out here. Gotta I be feel a, so dumb. <laughs> piece of crap junker, but it runs. Yeah, there's a camp up ahead. So, what? You hang out with Stranded? I don't hang out, dickwad. I'm looking for somebody. Shut up, Baird. Keep moving. What? What'd I say? I'm, I'm sure there's, there's some nice Stranded. Maybe not. Find the Stranded settlement. So is Stranded, I wonder if that's a human... So I've been wondering, like, what's a, what's monster and what's um, like maybe extra human factions and things like that. <clears throat> okay, grist. like those See, Ooh. I told you it's 
facing us. Corpser. Okay. Yeah, I got it. That was a big dude. You know, one of the things I, I like about this is that you, I like the reloading, but I also like that you don't, like, I like the mechanic of reloading, but I also like the fact that you don't have to reload that often. Like, the gun holds a lot of ammo at once. Pulls down. Hang on, buddy. Ain't enough freaks to stop this man. I got you, Cold Train. Yeah, you can. Ooh. Form up. Got it. Watch it. Nice. Ooh. Wait, ammo. Take that. What's a boom shot? Good to go. Nope. Okay, can I do this? Like, can I? Hmm. Here's my problem. I, I admit, I know sometimes I'll, in other games I've played, I get a little criticism for wanting to stick with a weapon that I like. Um, but this has had, relatively speaking, almost unlimited ammo. What my worry is, is if I pick something up like this, it's only got, it might be like awesome and take out a lot of enemies at once, but this is a consistent old faithful gun. This, I don't think, well, oh, that's oh. You see, if I could just replace, this is what I wish you could do. Don't mind if I do. Oh wait, it didn't let me do that before. Never mind. I was gonna say, <laughs> well, I'm really coming out like a raving idiot in this one. Um, I was going to say that uh, I wish that it would let you kind of choose where the weapons go in your selection, because I didn't think it did that for me earlier. Maybe it did, and I just screwed things up. I actually got a little dizzy from this yesterday when I was playing it. Find the stranded settlement. Okay, we're going in here. Checkpoint. Is this the settlement? What was that thing called? A courser or something? I like these guys because they're just... They're annoying, but you can... Just melee them a little easier. Ooh. 
That's it. Yep, I'll melee you. That was the highlight reel. There we go. Well, he's really going to town over there. Oh gosh. No, no, I don't actually. Keep moving. Oh yeah. I can't see it. Nice. So that's why I like, I keep getting rewarded a lot of ammo for that hammer burst, so um, it's, it's, uh, it's a good gun to keep, for sure. Man, so I have a feeling that thing is gonna be our boss fight here for Act Two. More for the boom shot. Better reload. Why? That's why. Hey, help me with this. Pushable car? Is that what they said? Oh, wow. That's neat. Got him. Rock and roll. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Maybe I can run him over with it. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I've actually really enjoyed this game. Here, let's push a little closer. Tell me twice. Nice. Yeah, see, you can always get a lot of that hammer burst ammo. What I've uh, I've noticed so far, it's been 
Nice. Okay. Hey, just want to say thanks for watching, guys. If you're uh, if you're hanging out with me, if you're uh, just catching this series or uh, whatever your story may be, thank you so much for taking time out of your day today to just kind of hang out with me while I'm playing this early in the morning. It's always a real joy for me to play games like this and uh, be able to share these uh, experiences with you guys. It's a lot of fun. It's like just hanging out with friends on a couch, playing video games. Only not. But still kind of is. But not. Stranded Gatekeeper. Okay, I'm probably not going to make any friends if I shoot. So. Ahoy there! What's up? Same old shit. Franklin here? Yeah. Usual spot. Does that mean we can go in? Okay. Oh, look, it's all normal sized people. Bullshit's not going to help you out here. Huh. Sense a little fear with the people here. Hey, hey, pig! I'm talking to you, piggy. Blow me. Leave it alone, bear. What are you, mom? Hmm. Is this a, a fear or distrust? Uh, What's happening? Why, um, why are the soldiers kind of? Like, they're fighting the creatures. Why are they not held in better regard? Or maybe it's just this particular community. Why does he look so guarded? Like, don't take my rat. I got it. I won't let you down. Hey, Santiago, what you doing here? No news on the lady, man. I'll tell you if I heard anything. I don't want people seeing me with you, all right? It's not good for business, man. Give me that junk crew of yours. Say what? Get real, man. I'm serious. We need it. Sorry to hear you're having problems, man, but I'm not giving you my ride, yo. You owe me one. I'm calling in the favor, right now. Those are some big guns I got. All right, all right, man, I'll do it. Yo, on one condition. They stay here, yo, as collateral. We can use the extra guns, man. Done. Cold train's like, what? Watch who go get it. <laughs> hey, yo. Yo, Santiago. We even now, man. No more favors, asshole. Hmm. This is bullshit. I told you I had a plan. Your plan blows, all right? Hey, hey, hands off the merchandise. No handsies on the... Yeah, you. Bear it out. Outpost. Cool. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I mentioned to you guys that it was early morning. I just decided I needed to get a cup of coffee in the Let's Play Easy Mode mug. 14 ounces for $14. You can uh, buy it at the uh, merchandise store in the link down below. 
Mm. I'm just drinking some cheap Walmart brand breakfast blend this morning. Uh, here we go. What chapter is this? Uh, outpost, okay. So where are we going, Franklin? Taft gas station, corner F Street and 13. There's gonna be a lot of locusts between here and there. Shit, you got that right. You need to hit our checkpoints with some ammo. The first one's by the river. So if I was your ass, I'd get my ass over there pronto. Thanks. Dick. Well, thanks for the advice. living down there I guess Dom probably could have done that himself but man imagine here we are all these years after the emergence it's getting late let's find that checkpoint you think these guys who live in this world now ever Think about what these homes used to look like, you know, like now it's just a scary war ridden, you know, place, but Oh, lethal dusk, okay. I feel like that was pretty quick. Hide behind the stove. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Nice. Got him. Nice job. Take the stairs. Okay. Where's that long shot rifle? Okay. Can't replace that. So it must be just those weapons. Or maybe some weapons you can replace and some you can't. With certain ones. I can't see it. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Oh, yeah. like uh they're running along it's like going to the carnival and trying to shoot the ducks or throw the ball at the ducks when they go by and those little carnival games nice nice stage Is this the transport we wanted cuz it's uh Not really what I expected Wow whoa There's the locust. Oh. 
Alright, Dom, you shoot him. Should be straight ahead. How's it going, Baird? Oh, it's bullshit. Somebody here figured out the cold plate thrash ball. Now it's all, oh, cold train. Tell us all about that play again. And <laughs> hey, number 83, sign my shirt. Where the hell are you guys? <laughs> We're working on it. Sit tight. I like those things because. When you see the just that kind of dialogue, uh, you know, over time, the more you get of that, it really starts to bring out the story in this, you know, um, where it's not just shoot and saw, uh, you know, monsters in half. It's it's okay. There's these are people. There's characters, um, and you get more of that character development, which will give you, you know, now I'm I'm getting kind of attached to Coltrane, you know. Um, and the banter, you know, with Baird, and it's pretty cool. I hope these four all make it. I hope they all make it, and this is like our group, and all the ha uh, all the halos, all the gears of war games. Stay there. We're coming over. Stay under the light. Oh my gosh. Franklin, Santiago. Hey, it's dark now, so you better watch it, man. The krill are probably out by now. Yeah. The, the krill? They are. And they just killed the guys at checkpoint one. The krill? All right, yo, Santiago, man. That means they're coming this way. Johnson, check the lights. Yo, man, you better keep moving. Checkpoint two is up ahead. Checkpoint two. This is all that ammo they were talking about. There's definitely a lot of it. So we don't want to avoid the light. This reminds me of uh, Requiem. Uh, Re is it Requiem's Tale or Requiem? Nope. What is it? The one with the girl and the her little brother, and she's trying to uh, a plague's tale, a plague's tale, um, where she's trying to they have to use the light to keep the rats away, or the fire to keep the rats away. So we don't want to go in the dark with the. I, I think he said this was the krill, was what they were called. Do you think it'd be really awesome right now if Marcus and Dom, as big as they are, they could like sit down though and start playing piano and be like, "Hey, by the way, I wrote this song," and then they start breaking out into some sort of jazzy Luther Vandross like, you know, song called "Gears of War." <laughs> Stupid "Gears of War" the musical, written by Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> <clears throat> Thumbs up if you want to see a Gears of War musical written by Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> I kind of do now. Well, Disney bought the rights to Gears of War. Emergence hole. What are you doing, dude? Yeah, don't, don't. You gotta stay where the light is. I'd go help Dom, but if I go over there, I'm just gonna get attacked by those krill, too. There. So 
so based on how often Dom kept walking up with the berserker and just getting beat on and then uh how he's just going to the dark to keep getting attacked by the krell i i will say if i had a minor criticism so far of gears of war and i don't know maybe it's because i'm playing on maybe it's based on the level i'm playing of difficulty or whatever but dom is not like doing much like the ai is just standing there not only with the enemies but also with dom and and it makes me wonder like is that a thing like am i just kind of is is that that's not exclusive to my playthrough right like is that something where dom just gets himself killed all the time because he goes to stupid places we need a light do that so they kill us so we're doing it Don't mind if I do. Okay. Okay. I'm so thankful for all these tanks that just happen to be out in the street. in this shoot. Maybe a little higher. I bet I could get one more. No. All right. more of those tanks. Ooh, you can hear him. here. That'd be cool. Ride a motorcycle around. Coffee break. Oh, 
Um, for those of you who are new to the channel because of Gears of War, um, I'm gonna one more thing. I, I've already warned you that I'm not here to impress you. I've warned you that I'm not very good at games, which is why I play it on these easy modes. Because I just get more out of the game that way. I enjoy it. I enjoy the story, the characters. Uh. I jump scare so incredibly bad. Don't mind me. My contact lenses are a little dry this morning. Um, the uh, yeah, I jump scare terribly, and so <laughs> these ones always get me. These kinds of games. Uh, pardon me. I'm gonna delay you. Cole, you there? Everything okay? Shit, yeah, baby. We got to hook up. They giving us a big ass dinner. <laughs> He's not complaining we now. Dysentery from this shit. <laughs> Bear's having a hard time adjusting, you know. Tell Bear to shut up and eat. We'll be back soon. <laughs> See, I think this is fun. I, I like the character development. I like the banter. Um, I think it's really cool. Oh my. Oh gosh. Oh the the okay, yep. Yep, yep. Gotcha. The krill or whatever. We got to get into the light. To the light. Grub. Now, are the krill a part of their army as well? Like weapons they're using? Will the krill go after them? Who's next? Let's do this. Let's go. What? I wonder how long. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I wonder how long you have to hang out in the dark before the krill will come after you. Probably totally butchering their name right now, but Let's see. What the? Oh. actually eat ammo. Got it. Pushable car. We gotta look and make sure. We have a uh, light as well. Let's see if we have any canisters to shoot. Got him. Nope. <laughs> this is my first time actually using that gun. Now. 
next. Okay. Haven't used this in a while. Fire in the hole. There. Take the alley to the left of your location. It's pitch black. No way we can get through. Mm -hmm. Ammo. I like that it does all the... Oops. Get ammo for all the... Um, Weapons, which is cool. Got him. Nice. Bear, do you still there? Red man is cold. Bear's in the toilet. Listen, these boys are getting serious. They're bringing out the big guns. Something's about to go down for sure. We'll pick you up as soon as we can. Yeah, I think you better go out. Okay. <laughs> Guess I can't go out that way. Okay, we'll follow Dom over here. Nope. Nope. Oh, here it is. This is the alleyway, yep. Man, what a wretched world this is. Delta, this is Control. We're seeing hostiles on our radar, near Delta 2's position. Copy that. Are they aware? Affirmative. They are taking defensive action. Copy that. Delta out. Now I say wretched world, but also a uh, beautiful game design, you know, to create a world that makes you feel this way. Uh, the developers really did a wonderful job on this. Stay in the light. needs to be so I don't think I've seen all of them and they're kind of a guilty pleasure they're not exactly like high level cinematic you know experiences but you know those movies the expendables where they have all the 80s action heroes like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold and Bruce Willis and they're all together on one movie what if someone somehow could make a game like that where you would have like Master Chief and you know Marcus Felix, or you know and uh, and Duke Nukem and all these like action guys from video games like this, you know Shepard from Mass Effect, like that would be cool. I mean that's never gonna happen, 
but that would be cool. I'd play that game. And then they'll make it a musical. Dev Shepard. Oh, gosh! Oh, the dark, okay. Oops, my bad. Try that again. Oh. There we go. My guy. Okay, that's better. Dom. Follow the light. Ah, oh, there was a tank. There we go. Just in case. I bet this is one of those multiplayer things too, like when you're doing co-op, where one person has to hold the light and the other person has to move and you gotta work together. There, give me an update. We've got Locust, and it looks like Krill are on their way. Can you hold position? For now, but you guys are welcome to come back. Anytime, you know? <laughs> that. Phoenix out. Upstairs. Now we'll go direct that light and help Dom get through. How do these houses still have electricity? Like, how are the lights on? And who's paying for the light bill? Oh, good. Ammo. All right. Pardon me? All right, so he's running. All right. Now, oh, oh, he's on the move. All right, that's as good as I can do, buddy. He made it. Now, is he gonna help me get across? All 
All right. Getting some achievement points in this game. Those things jump me. It's always the easy things in the game that always that come out of nowhere, and they're easy to fight, but they always uh, jump me in all of these games. All right. All right. So he's turned the lights on for us. What are we doing? Oh, get to the checkpoint. Hey, we just did. Uh-oh. That did not work. Yeah, no, duh. One dead grub. My car. There. There we go. Let him heal up. Who's next? There we go. Got it. Shit, finally. There. Marcus, come in. Over. Baird. Uh oh. Oh! Oh! I knew the lights weren't on over there. We're gonna have to do that again. Yeah, I know. maybe man it takes no time at all I'm probably gonna have to do that whole thing again oh it's so annoying you would think that the checkpoint would actually be shit finally that's Baird. cool. It's Marcus. Come in. Over. Baird. Radio's out. We need to get back there. Alright, so we can't spend any time in the dark. There it is. They want to tear us apart, don't they? Uh, let's see. Keep our eyes open. Looking for gas tanks.
Maybe if we run. <laughs> Made it. Ooh, that's tough. Okay, Don. There you go. Oh, Alright, cutscene. That's good. Hey, you state your name. Ha! Look at them fool ass faces. Franklin sent us. Yeah, well, no shit. I know what you're doing here, damn it. We're looking for Chap's gas station. Oh, yeah? Well, good luck. Ain't no lights between here and there. Ooh. I guess your ass is doomed, huh? <laughs> oh, you think so? Yeah, whatever. Go in the house. I'll run the lights. Jack, stay here and open a comm link with this guy. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll talk to your trash can here. You guys can count on me. Don't screw up. Hey, man. I screw up. I'll never see your ass again. Because you'll be dead. <laughs> I'm going to kill this guy. I don't trust him. Not that I think he's malicious, just more like. Um, There's some bad coolness. shit in there, so you better watch out, huh? <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to shoot that, but. Guy. <laughs> Again, just those guys at this point, we can just save the ammo. So we can break some stuff. Oof. Gruesome. All right, buddy, turn the lights on. Stay where the lights are. And the fire. And the ammo. Okay. Follow the car. That's funny. There it is. I could have swore I just saw some bad guys come down on this side, though. Drowse, you nincompoot. Look at this place. You've burned half the neighborhood down, and we've got locusts and krill flying up our ass. All thanks to you. You're welcome. And I don't think this was all just us. This city kind of looked like this before we got here. What? Where's a junker? I think you guys were gonna make it, so I, I didn't fill his job. I figure that's your job. Hum's over there. Okay. People are waiting on it. I'm just here. 
Okay. Get in here. I've got some ammo in the back. Oh, sweet. Frag grenade. Another long shot rifle. You stay away from my register up front. I'm watching you. How? Okay. So, I wonder if we're actually going to be driving then. I really wanted to get that ammo before we got in there. Let's go. Good to go. Ooh, all that fuel. Up there. Damn it. Get in. Not again. Go. Watch out. Left, you dumb scow. Ooh. Well, there goes that guy's gas station. He's really going to be complaining about what we've done to the city. It's going to be Krillin. Use the UV turret. This junker can only power the turret or the engine. Okay. Not both. Okay. Right trigger, left trigger, and then X swap between the turret and driver's seat. Um, what if you idiots go out? I think I screwed that up. Here. Is that not? Oh, I have to hit the button. Okay. Okay, sorry guys. I. Oh gosh. I think I'm gonna have to do this a couple times. Why is 
Dom not doing anything again. Like Dom could be doing the turret right Just now. Just up ahead. Whoa! Look out! Up high. Oh shit! Six o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Really? Clear. I love how this thing can just go through. Turn left. There we go. Fun just driving through a bunch of stuff. Look out! Can't tell if something's chasing behind me. Maybe I should have just kept driving. Is that gonna make me start over all over again? I will say sometimes this puts you back a little far farther than I would like. It's gonna be Krill. Use the UV turret. This junker can only power the turret or the engine. Not both. Oh, I see. Okay, I missed that part. Use the UV turret. Okay. I got you now. The only power, that's why Dom's not reusing the turret. That's six o'clock. Clear. Let's move. All right. It's kind of a fun game mechanic once you realize what what it's doing. It's just up ahead. Clear. 
clear. Okay. We're doing uh, we're still doing a lot better than we did last time. Turn left. Turn left. Guys, I probably missed this if they've said it. Um, but where where does this take place? What if you eat Look out! where we're going. There we go. Not easy for sure. It's it's hard when it hits, when they get up above you, and it, you can't. Like, you can't reach them. You want to make it ass I want you to shut up. That's what I want you to do. Man, you know, we need this vehicle to last. Hopefully it will. Next time I'll stay with the exploding gas station. That's funny. There, it's Marcus. We have the chunker. Do you copy? Yeah, you on your way or what? We're getting screwed to the wall over here. We're almost there. Okay. Last stand. Let's do this. Let's go. Please. 
Oh, that'll work. Boom, baby. These guys will keep the sniper off me while I... You're good to go. Sealed up the hole. Oh, I wonder if we're going to have a, a boss fight with that big snake thing that was in the ground or whatever it was. There, turn that shit off. <laughs> Squad. Our vehicle is DOA. We're now on foot. Please advise. Copy that, Delta. The pumping station lift is offline, so you need to enter the mines through the factory. The Continue factory. Down this road. Are we? Affirmative. Done. Let's go. Are we still? Oh no! We are in Act Three now. So, all right, guys. That that concludes Act Two. Um, and now we're in something called Downpour. I, it says Belly of the Beast. I was thinking that we were going to have another like boss fight kind of thing like we did with the, was it the Berserker or whatever? So 
Um, that's it. That's that's where we're going to end the episode. And uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll just keep doing an act per episode, which if that's the case, then this is only going to be a five episode series. Um, but, you know, these short games are fun, you know, especially uh, I was thinking about this the other day. Bigger doesn't always mean better. You know, the reason why Gears of War is is such a treasured thing among its fan base is is that for the length of this first game it was just it, it won people over it had a great story great uh, fun game mechanics uh, really cool level design and very rewarding to play and I know a lot of people also enjoyed the co-op aspect of it and I'm not sure if this first game had multiplayer with it or not but um you know I I, I think it packs a whole lot of fun into a shorter game, which is really cool. Um, but that's going to conclude this episode. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. And that was a lot of fun. We've now completed Act 2 of Gears of War, and we've met some new creatures. Um, so far, we've met the Grubs, I believe. We've met uh, the Berserker in the last episode. And now we've met the Krill, and they're not fun. They're very creepy. You got to keep the lights on for them. And, uh, and then there was that big thing that I still think we're going to have to fight that's like run, running underneath the road, you know, what was it, a courser? Is that what they called it? I can't remember what it was called now, but um, and maybe the, I've noticed the next level said something about belly of the beast. So I'm wondering if that's what we're going to have to do is actually instead of a boss fight for act two, we're just going to be kicking act three off with with fighting, you know, something big like that. Um, but that was fun. Again, guys, no complaints so far. Um, I thought that I had discovered a game glitch. I guess in some ways I did uh, earlier in the in the playthrough when I went through that door that was like, it had a weird, like I thought it was a glitch where the map was dropping out and then I went through it and then couldn't figure out where to go from there. But it turns out it was actually, uh, I wasn't even supposed to go through that door and I just was going through the wrong one and got a little turned around and lost. So I'm glad we figured that out pretty quick. Um, all in all, I'm enjoying the character development. Um, you know, some of the banter, like when they left Baird and Coltrane behind um, with the um, the Stranded, they, they ended up, uh, like when they were talking with Baird and Baird is like, oh, they just found out that, you know, Coltrane was a great ball player and and uh, you know he was like a celebrity and all this, and it was just kind of fun hearing the banter back and forth. And the thing is, the more you get of that, that's always kind of what makes these characters more endearing. And then you start to get attached to them. If there's one thing I've gotten used to over the last you know couple of years on this channel is getting attached to game characters that I lose. And I'm a little worried that I'm gonna lose someone. Someone's gonna have to give up their life or someone's gonna die along the way. Uh, I really hope this foursome is able to stay together. I really like them. Uh, I'd like to see the dynamics of the relationship between Marcus and Baird. Um, you know, maybe Baird will learn more about Marcus and be able to trust Marcus, um, you know, as he leads them. It's uh, because he's a sergeant now, you know? So I, I think that's really cool and I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the, the monsters. I think they're really fun. The gameplay is not hard. Um, it's very casual, which is what it is. I mean, that's the name of the, the difficulty is casual, but totally my style of gameplay, guys. I, I'm not looking for a ton of challenge. I'm looking just for an enjoyable experience. Uh, you know, getting the story and being able to shoot some monsters and not worry about dying so much. It's really enjoyable. I, I, I'm liking it. I will admit, Gear, I've always wanted to play Gears of War, and I wasn't sure I wanted Gear personally wanted Gears of War to win the poll. That said, uh, now that it's won the poll and we've started Gears of War and we've gotten into it, I'm really glad that I've experienced it thus far, and it's been fun. It's been fun so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough as well. If you are, do me a favor and click like on this video and also subscribe for more content if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, come hang out with us at Discord, and of course, you can always go check out the Patreon page by going to this link right here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a real joy of mine to play this game so far. I can't wait to play Act 3. That's going to be a lot of fun. But until next time, take it easy. Easy, easy on me. I can't believe.